Number two, complete the changes in concentrations for each of the following reactions. And then we have this reaction over here. Ag2SO4 solid will dissociate or yield into two Ag plus aqueous plus a sulfate SO4 2 minus aqueous. Now the question is, if they label the sulfate, the SO4 2 minus, as changing in an X concentration, what would be the change in the Ag plus concentration? Well, remember, changes in concentrations always come from your balanced equation, but more specifically, it comes from your coefficients, the mole ratio. So I'm going to just look at the Ag. I see that there's a 2 in front of here. And in front of the sulfate, I don't see a number. But remember, anytime that you don't see a number, what number is this really? Yeah, you only have one of them. So I have one sulfate for every two silvers, right? One SO4 for every two AGs. Now this is why they only labeled this as X, because you would just stick the coefficient right in front of the X value. But remember, 1X is the same thing as just saying X. So we don't really have to include the ones. But for the AG, since it's a 2 to 1 ratio, the AG is going to change 2 times as much as the sulfate. So this would have to be 2x because the variables have to match. And then you just stick that coefficient number right in front. So whatever change the sulfate is going to go under, the AG is going to change twice as much, 2x. And that's it for this one. What do you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Tell your friends, tell your classmates about this channel. Just gets the word out there that this YouTube channel exists. Um, and thank you so much. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers. Let's keep rocking and rolling, all right? Thank you so much. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.